The second thing I think that would be I could do almost close to not literally but by executive order would be to require electronic um, uh, data keeping in all medical records, which I but talk. computer illiterate. No, but no, 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 no. <laughs> by the way, so am I. <laughs> Relatively speaking, compared to my granddaughter, I am. Yeah. But look, here's my point. Though. All of the people, all the experts out there say that can save from 10 to 30. I think it's closer to 10 percent of the overall cost. Hospitals and the rest. But I think the thing that will get us to total health coverage, health insurance for everybody, the quickest is to do what we did on welfare reform. What we did was we allowed the states considerable flexibility and leeway in reorganizing their system. And we underwrote the cost of the poor states in doing it to get work programs going. Do the same exact thing with health care. You have now a dozen states, including big ones, that are now passing legislation requiring uh, a, uh, universal uh, insurance, just like, uh, just like liability insurance, okay? Once you get to a critical mass of 30 to 35 states, you've established a national consensus. And then go cherry pick. Cherry pick those elements of the plan. Maybe even give them more localized flavor rather than one simple standard that exists, but require that to be total, complete coverage across the board in every America. And I think that's the way to get to this. One thing that Hillary and I agree on was is that she and I are the only two out there saying it's going to take an administration to get it done. The others are out telling you we're going to pass this. I'm all going to prison and pass it. Well, unless there's a second coming, I'm not sure how that happened.